Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got the 2024 X5 M60i, the G05 chassis. This is in frozen pure gray, another new color for the X5 at least. It's appeared on various other models, including the X7, the X1, 7 series, and maybe a couple other ones that I'm maybe forgetting right now. M3. But we haven't had an M3 in frozen pure gray yet. This is the refreshed look for the 2024 X5. So brand new front fascia, new headlights, so laser lights are gone. So this one's got the, obviously by default, the M Sport package, but shadow line lights. Blacks out these things here, quartering lights there. And this one's fairly loaded. It's got the driving assistant wrestle package, even though all X5s and X6s and X7s now come with this sort of sensor there already. Uh, but if you want Driving Assistance Pro, you will have to pay for it from the factory. Very double slot kidney grills in the vertical setup here. So as our M badge then. I'm not a fan of this look for M performance models. But that's the way they're going. Before it used to be Surium Gray, which is I think a little bit more distinctive. Now sort of blurring the lines between M performance and M. Even though now M are going horizontal double slot kidney grills. Over on the side, we have the 22-inch 742M wheels. And sort of like a star spoke thing here. We've also got some black spokes going out of here. A very interesting look. And we have the M Sport calipers in blue. And we've got our fake breather gale here. Finger of truth says all fake. All right, and this one is now sold, sold almost on its way here, but this was originally expected for store inventory and trying out different combinations of things. But Frozen Pure I think is really, really good if you're a fan of matte paints. And you can see the lines of the X5 come out really well in Frozen Paints. I suppose I think Binner White does a really good job of it as well. An Outback X5 and M60 badging in chrome. And then our dual exhaust, but really that's quad exhaust. You can see two tailpipes on each side. Revised tail lights. I'm going to take in frozen pure gray on the other side here, out of direct sunlight. I think I think it looks really good. But indeed good. I think BMW did a good job with the facelift and in incorporating new uh, headlight designs as well as new daytime running lights. Definitely distinctive. And of course, you do have the mirror caps in high gloss black and M style, fistable. Right, let's take a look at the inside and go over pricing and options. A little note there, not washing the car. So opening up, we have the Tartufo Merino leather. It's a lovely Tartufo on the side here. And there are multi-contour seats in Tartufo. Very nice quilting and perforations. Very comfortable seats. And the multi-contour controls for the upper back are chrome catcher, lumbar, and side bolster. All right, so on the inside, we have our M Sport steering wheel, our iDrive 8 instrument panel, controls over here on the left-hand side for driving assistance, so cruise control, uh, checking and changing the modes here between distance control, which is what shows up in the instrument panel in front of you, or assisted driving. This one does have the highway assistant. So iDrive 8 currently on this one. This one will be eligible for an upgrade to iDrive 8.5 over the air upgrades, basically. That should occur on a VIN by VIN basis starting, I think, in July. Then from factory from July, you get standard on the vehicle. So, a little ambient lighting here with the M badging. And you can note, you know, Bowers and Wilkins over here. Now I'm going to open up the uh, roof. 
All right, so then carbon fiber interior trim. So lots of carbon fiber on the dashboard as well as the center console area. So drive selector nub in glass as well as the iDrive controller and start stop button. So starting price of the M60i is $89,300. Frozen pure gray metallic paint, another $3,600. So getting close to basically a pure individual color. Tartufo leather, another $1,950. Driving Assistance Pro, $2,100. N-Sport Pro Package, another $650. Parking Assistance Package for another $900. The Executive Package for another $1,650. Climate Comfort Package for another $1,000. Then our 742M Wheels, another $1,900. Adaptive M Suspension Pro for another $2,200. So this is our first one out with the Adaptive M Suspension Pro. And then we've got another $300 for the Carbon Fire Trim, which is actually a pretty good deal. Uh, front Massaging Seats for another $1,000. Barrels and working sound system for another 3400 And then wheel locks and floating hubcaps added a little bit extra. So all told, MSRP of just over $111,000. And obviously that's a huge price increase over the M50, but this has got a lot on it. Let's take a look at the back seat. All right, so open up the back seat. Let's take a hop in. Take in our Tartufo. We'll have a view of the cockpit from the rear seats. Really nicely designed, really sort of minimalistic. Whether or not it makes a lot of sense for you or is a big change, can be up to you guys. And up above is the LED Sky Lounge available in the executive package. Again, not visible because it's light outside. And then the climate comfort package gets you two zones in the back. Knee room and leg room is really, really good. And then headroom, not a real big issue. So pretty comfortable. You notice you get some speakers up here, the Bowers Wicked sound system as well. Pretty good effect. There's also some in the rear above the rear seats. Sort of a little bit back on it too, but pretty comfortable cabin. Let's take a look at the trunk and then pop the hood. All right, so making our way to the back here, we we'll use our kick to open feature. All right, so cargo area in the back, you got your cargo cover up here, 12 volt socket on the right hand side. And then you do have a little bit of limited storage here, um, but you also have a spare tire here for the 22 inch wheels. You do get a jack stand, as well as a lug nut wrench, tow hook down here. So a little tiny bit of area you can do for a little bit of storage for very small things, of course. Use our kick to close and make our way towards the front. And take it our frozen pure gray. One more time. All right, so underneath the hood is the S68 V8 4.4 liter engine, twin turbo. So same horsepower and torque as the previous generation, M50, so 523 horsepower, 553 torques, and a mild hybrid setup. You will have a run-in period for this one, so about 310 miles, I think it is, uh, given that this car is driven from Richmond, which is about 65-ish miles from our dealership. Part of that break-in is already done for this customer. So there's no 1200 mile run-in service required for this one, even though it has a M engine, being it's an S designation engine. But that's it for a quick tour around the X5 M60 and Frozen Pure Grain. We'll see you in the next video.